Really, I got nobody left. Nobody. Football Manager 18, guys. Uh, and I have huge injury list. Matuidi, Mandzukic, Iguain, Buffon, Bernardeschi, Douglas Costa, Giorgio Chiellini, Paolo Dybala and Marco Piazza. Really? What's up guys? My name is Roman. This is Juve Therapy. I just currently being killed in Football Manager because of this stupid injury list. I got like 9 or 10 players out and all of them are first team players. So last game I fielded with Benedict Hovedes as a striker and I actually drew away to Napoli 1-1. Yeah, <laughs> insane. But let's just get back to the real life and we are up against Cotone at home tomorrow night. It sounds easy, but it isn't, because we are up against Napoli next, and then we have Olympiacos away, a must-win game if we are to progress to the knockout stages of the Champions League. And after our trip to Greece, we are facing Inter. Huge month, huge month. And I expect nothing. Expect absolutely nothing. I hope that we can win three out of these four games. I have no expectations against Napoli, I am scared to death about this trip to Greece because if we don't win there and Sporting somehow manage a win away at Camp Nou well, we will be playing Europa freaking league but first of all it's Cotone at home we lost against Lazio, we won against Udinese but in my opinion that was a fluke and we won unimpressively against Benevento and Spal we won away to Milan, but they are a complete mess at the moment, so don't read too much into that result. Our Champions League campaign is just not impressive at all, we don't even deserve to be in the quarterfinals at this moment. So it is a work in progress, but do I really have the patience to wait and see what Bernardeschi can do? Uh, when Dybala will get his form back? When are we actually start playing? with actual wingers and we have some defensive issues as well so there are a lot of stuff going on but let's check into this uh, Crotona game because uh, we will probably most probably rotate quite a bit and my predicted lineup will be based on these rotations well this is my predicted lineup but I can't even predict what the side will be against Crotona because it's Allegri's choice it's Allegri's head and uh, in that head a lot of stuff a lot of weird stuff going on but there are rumors that Mario Mandzukic is actually tired of playing a winger and he wants to play as a striker. Partially because he wants to go to the World Cup in form, scoring goals and be a contender for that first spot. Because right now it's, I believe, it Nikola Kalinic who is a striker for Croatia at the moment. So Mandzukic must challenge him if he wants to go to the World Cup. We will probably be without Giorgio Chiellini and Juan Cuadrado is also injured. Uh, I would love to rest Mira Lempianic because I think he needs it. And I would love to see Claudio Marchisio from the start against Cotone. So this is my predicted lineup. In goal I will go with Wojciech Szczesny. Uh, I don't think it really matters if Buffon or Szczesny starts. This will be the perfect game for Szczesny to get another game under his belt. Uh, in front of him I would play with three at the back. Uh, it will be Daniele Rugani, Mehdi Benatia and Benedict Hevedes. I would like to see him actually play some football for Juventus and tomorrow it might be the day, might be the time that we we'll actually will see him play. I would also go with four in the middle. I will go with Quado Azamoa on the left. I would go with Claudio Marchisio and Blaise Matuidi in the center. And on the right flank, I will actually try Mattia Di Ciglio. He is capable of defending, he's not that good offensively, but we could at least try. If we start with Stefan Lichtsteiner on the right, I don't care, it really doesn't matter. But in my opinion, I'd rather see Mattia Di Ciglio. And up front, three guys, I will bench Gonzalo Higuain, so Mario Mandzukic will start up front and he will be flanked by Douglas Costa on the left because I think he has potential, he was good, one of the best if not the best against Barcelona during the midweek and on the right I will put Paulo Dybala because I think he likes that position a bit more, he likes roaming around and also cutting in inside from the right because he's a left footer. That would be my predicted lineup, my, my personal lineup, but it could also be something else. It could also be like this. We could start with four at the back, with Azamoa, Hervedes, Benatia and Lichtsteiner or De Ciglio at the right back. 
In front of them, there will be three. Sami Khedira will not be there, so it will be Blais Matuidi, Marquisio in the hole, and next to him, Stefano Sturaro. And yes, guys, I know you are just thinking, is he sick? What are you thinking? Sturaro from the start. Guys, he has been absent for over a month, I think. We haven't seen him at all. So in Allegri's head, everybody must contribute. So Stefano Sturaro must at some point be there. So don't be surprised if he starts tomorrow next to Marquisio and Matuidi if we play with 4-3-3. And up front will be the same guys, Douglas Costa on the left, Dybala on the right and Gonzalo Higuain on the bench, so Mario Mazzucic up front. Or he might even play with Matuidi, Marquisio and Bentancur in the center. There are a lot of a lot of choices there, but the formation is really not that important. The most important thing for me is that we can show that we can attack from different angles. We can attack from the right, we can attack from the left, we can attack through the middle, we can attack from anywhere. Up until now, we couldn't attack from the left because Mazukic isn't a winger. And we barely attacked from the center because there are so many defenders in the center. And on the right, well, we had Juan Cuadrado who is either very good or absolutely horrible. So now with Mazukic out of the picture on the left wing, we might actually show some strength through the middle, through the left and through the right. That would be very exciting and I expect us to win this game. I expect to see a clean sheet. I don't think we will have it because you know us guys, we conceded against Benevento, we conceded against Spal. We actually concede against minor teams now and that's very unusual. So tomorrow we will probably concede but we will win. So my predicted scoreline will be 3-1. Goal scorers, well, I expect Mandzukic to score one. I expect to see Dybala's name on the score sheet. And also, Claudio Marchisi will be very nice to see him score. So those three will hopefully score tomorrow. Three points is, of course, the most important thing. So there you go. This is my preferred lineup and my predicted scoreline. And before you go, another jersey quiz. You see this jersey behind me there? I have been wearing this for a couple of episodes now. My question is, whose name it is on the back of this jersey? And first of all, I will just give you the squad for that season. One of these names is on the back of this jersey. Now please comment down below what you think the name is. In the next episode, I may be revealing it if you are correct. If not, we will continue doing it. But there is a name on this jersey and it's a good one. I'll see you after the game on Sunday. Fino alla fine, Fosu Juve. Remember subscribing and also commenting down below. Also follow me on Twitter and my Instagram account where I, yeah, trying to have fun with Football Manager but right now it's very, very hard. I have like 10 players out injured. <laughs> Who am gonna field as a striker? Hervides? I might try that again. I'll see you after the game against Cortona. Fino alla fine. Ciao.